Mother? What? I'm going. Where? To the vineyard. Wait. What do you want? I want to give you some food to take. Don't bother. I'll eat grapes. You give me that knife. Why? To cut them off the vines? Knives. Knives, I curse them. I curse them all but the criminals who make them. Let's talk of something else. And machine guns. And pistols. And knives. And sickles and scythes. That's enough. Everything with a blade that can cut open the body of a man. A beautiful man. With a mouth like a flower. Haven't you said enough? I don't know how you dare carry a knife in your belt. Or why I keep one in my house. It's like keeping a snake. Haven't you said enough? No. I'll never say enough. Not even if I live to be a hundred. First. They killed your father. I only enjoyed him for three years. Then, then they killed your brother. A man is a bull. It should take more than such a tiny thing. So no, I'll never be silent. Months pass, years pass, and despair bites into me. I can feel it gnawing at the back of my eyes and at the roots of my hair. Will this never end? No. This will never end. Can anyone bring your father back? Your brother? And people talk of jail. But what's that? The murderers. They can eat there, smoke if they want. And my two dead bodies turning into grass! So, what? Do you want me to kill them? No. No. I'm only talking because they went out that door. And now you too. I can't bear to see you go out of it. I don't like you carrying a knife. The nonsense you talk. I wish you were a girl. And we'd do the sewing together. We'd embroider tablecloths and look really jumpers for the winter. Mother, what about me? What about you? Do I have to explain this all over again? Do you think it's a bad idea? No. Well then? I'm not sure we really know. You bring it up like that and it throws me. I know the girl is good. She can bake her own bread, sew her own clothes. <laughs> Yet every time I think of her name, it's like my head is being hit by a stone. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. How long have you been seeing her? Three years. Three years? Wasn't she once going to marry someone else? I don't know. I don't think so. Girls have got to think hard about who they're going to marry. No. No, they don't. I never looked at anyone. I looked at your father. And then when they killed him, I looked at the neighbour's wall. A woman can have just one man. You know that she's a good girl. I'm sure she is. I just wish I knew who her mother was. What difference does that make? You're right. I believe you. When do you want me to call on them? What about Sunday? I'll take her the brass earrings. Because they're antiques. And you'll take her... You'll know what's best. You take her some fancy stockings and two new suits for you. No, not two. Three. Oh, you're all I have. I'm off. I'll go see her tomorrow. Of course you will. And you can't see if you can give me six grandchildren to make me happy. Boys or girls. Whatever you want. But grandchildren. I'm sure you'll love my new wife. Oh, I know I will. No. You're too grown up for kisses now. Save them for your wife. Assuming she ever marries you. I'm away. Work that patch by the mill. You've been neglecting it. Whatever you say. Go with God. I came down.
down to the shop and I thought I'd come in to see you. Well, you live so far away. It's 20 years since I went to the top of the street. You're lucky. You think so? The things that happen. Just the other day, they brought you my neighbour's son with both his arms cut off. Raphael. Yes, Raphael, you were the machine. And there he is. I often think our two dead sons are better off where they are, asleep and at rest, rather than risking ending up maimed and useless. Be quiet. It's just something people say it doesn't help. No. No. How's your son? He went out. He finally managed to buy the vineyard. He was lucky. He can get married now. He, he can get married now. He can get married now. Do you know the girl my son wants to marry? She's a good girl. Yes, but... It's true. She lives out there alone with her father, ten miles from the nearest house. But she's a good girl. She's used to being alone. What about her mother? She was beautiful. Her face shone. I knew her, but I never liked her. She didn't love her husband. The things you know about people! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause offence. It's true, though. She was very brave, and no one else said anything. Like mother, like daughter. You were the one who asked. It's just, I like people not to know them, not to know their living daughter, not to know the dead mother. I want them to be bank walls. People pass without seeing. You're right. Your son is worth so much. That's why I take such care of him. Someone told me a while ago that the girl was going to marry someone else. That would have been when she was 15. He married one of her cousins two years ago, I'm sure of it. They used to go out, but no one remembers that. Then how can you remember it? Because you asked me. We all need to find out things who hurt us. Who was the boy? Leonardo. What, Leonardo? Leonardo Felix. Felix? Listen, it wasn't his fault. He was just a young boy when the troubles came. A boy of eight. You're right. Of course you are. It's just, and I hear that name, Felix. It is when I say it, Felix. My mouth is filling with my husband's ashes. And I have to spit! I have to keep spitting or I'll kill someone! Calm down! You can't keep going on like this. No good will come of it. Yes, but... Don't get in the way of your son's happiness. You're an old woman, and I am too. It's best we stay out of it. I won't say anything. Say nothing. Life! I'm away. My people will be back from the fields. Have you seen how hot it is? The boys taking water to the harvesters were roasting. Goodbye. Go with God. Harsh little baby. For the horse at the stream. Black is the water that flows like a dream. The horse, she is thirsty. The water, black as ink. The horse, she is thirsty, but refuses to drink. What's wrong with the water? What's wrong with the horse? Sleep little flower, for the horse that one drink. Sleep little water, for the horse starts to weep. It's true, they are wounded. Its name is a vice. A dagger of silver has pierced its water. They go down to the river. Oh, how they go down. The water flows deeply. Death in blood, faith in down. Sleep is a flower for the horse that wants to drink. Sleep is a word for the horse that wants to drink. Its muscle is burning and buzzing with joy. If it touches the river, the horse surely dies. It cries out to the mountains. It cries out to the marsh. Cries out to the river. In a voice loud and harsh. Cry to the horses. That can't bear strength. 
cry to the river with water black as ink. Don't come through the window, don't come through the door. We'll lock up the window with trees and with trees. And we'll lock up the door, the horse by the river. Won't come anymore. Don't come through the window. Don't come through the door. Go up to the mountain. Now the valley is grey. <coughs> the horse by the fountain that thirsts all the day. How's the baby? Fast asleep. He wasn't well last night. He cried. Today he's like a flower. How about you? Did you go to the blacksmith? I've just come from there. Can you believe it? I spent the last two months putting shoes on that horse and they still keep falling off. I say it's because of the stones. Won't it be because you ride it so far? No. I hardly ever ride it. The neighbours told me they saw you down the far end of the salt flats. <laughs> and who said that? The women picking capers. I couldn't believe it. Was it really you? No. What would I be doing up there in that desert? That's what I said. But then the horse was half dead with weariness. Did you see it? No. But my mother did. She with the baby? Yes. Can I get you a drink? Yes, make it really cold. You never came in to eat. I was with the men who were weighing the wheat. They were always good for a laugh. Do they pay a good price? Just what's right. I need a new dress and the baby a new sun hat. I'll go and see him. Careful, he's fast asleep. Someone's been riding that hot horse into the ground. It's lying there, humped out of the stable, with its eyes staring out of its head. Who could have done such a thing? I did. I do beg your pardon. After all, it is your horse. He, he was with the men measuring the wheat. I don't care where he said he was. <sighs> your drink, was it cold enough? Yes. My cousin's getting married. When? Next week. They're coming to arrange it tomorrow. I hope they invite us. Not so sure. Yeah, I heard that the mother isn't really happy with the marriage. I don't blame her. You can't trust that girl. I hate you thinking badly of a good girl. Oh, he just says that because he knows her. Don't you know that they used to date three years ago? But I left her. Now you're going to start crying. Stop it. Come on, let's go see the baby. Sailing ship here and 
here was the rose. Don't be so rude. But you should have seen it. A rose with its petal and a thorn. Oh, we don't want to know. Let her tell us. Leonardo, there's no need for that. Must you always be so rude to people? I never asked for your opinion. Very well. What's wrong with you? What's going on in your mind? You can't just leave it like this without telling me anything. Be quiet. No. Look me in the eyes and tell me. Leave me alone. Where are you going? Stop! Stop it! What is wrong with you? What's, What's going wrong on with in your you? mind? You can't What's going on in your mind? You can't just leave like this without telling me anything. Like without telling me anything. No, I want you to look me in the eyes. No, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me. Where are you going? Stop it! Must be getting dressed. Did you have a long journey? Four hours. But oh, you must have come the long way round. I am too old to go traipsing over the rough country by the river. She gets travel sick. It's been a good year for Aspartos. Really excellent. Well, back in my day, this country didn't even yield Aspartos. Had to be punished. Try to pop to get any good out of it. But now you're getting the good, so don't complain. I haven't come to ask anything of you. It's true. You are richer than I am. Your vines are worth a fortune. Every bunch of grapes is like a heap of silver. Just one thing that hurts me, and it's like a thorn in my heart. Is the little market in the middle of my land that the owner won't sell for all the gold in the world? That sort of thing always happens. When I'm dead, you can sell all the land over there and buy more here. Sell? Sell? No, don't sell. Buy. Buy everything. If I had sons, I would have bought the land all over there by the mountains, all the way down to the stream. Now you see, it's not good land, but with hard work you can make it good. And it's quiet around here, so nobody will steal your orchards, and then you can sleep in peace. You know why I've come? Yes. And what do you think? We've spoke about it. It seems good to me. My son has, and can. My daughter too. My son is handsome. He has known no other woman. His reputation is as spotless as a sheep put out in the sun to dry. Well, what can I tell you about my daughter? She wakes up at three every morning to make the men breakfast. She doesn't even speak. She's as soft as wool. She can do all kinds of embroidery. And she can even cut a rope with her teeth. May God bless her house. May God bless it. When do you want to hold the wedding? Next Thursday. Oh, that'll be her birthday. She'll be 22 years old. 22 years old. That's how old my eldest son would have been if he was still alive. And he would be warm and virile. 
If only men hadn't invented knives. I shouldn't think about that. But I do. Every minute of every day, you would do the same. Uh, so next Thursday, you know, right? Right. Right. So, the four of us will go by car. And the other guests, well, they can go in whatever cart and horse they bring. Agreed. Right, let's go. Right. Tell her she can come in now. I do hope that you like her. Come here. You don't look very happy. Don't be so serious. This is going to be your mother after all. I am happy. When I said yes, it's because I wanted to. Of course. Look Come at me. Spitting image of her mother. Is she? What beautiful eyes. You dear creature, tell me. Do you know what marriage is? I know. A man, some sons and a wall. A wall six feet deep to shut out the world. What else could anyone want? Nothing. Let them all live. That above all, let them live. I'll do what's expected. Here are some presents. Thank you. I'll come tomorrow. At what time? At five. I'll be waiting. When I leave your side, it's as if I'm empty and have a knot in my throat. When you are my husband, you won't have that. That's what I tell myself. Let's go. There's some more way. Do we agree? We agree. Goodbye. Go with God. Goodbye, daughter. Hold on, I'll come with you. I'm dying to see the presents. Don't touch. Oh, come on, show me. I don't want to. At least show me the stockings. I heard they're embroidered. Come on. No. For goodness sake, it's not that bad. You're acting as if you didn't want to get married. No. Sweetheart, what's wrong? Are you going to miss living like a queen? Don't think of bitterness. What else reason have you got? No. Now come on, let's open the presents. Let go. For heaven's sake. I said let go. Well, stronger than a man. <laughs> Haven't I worked as a man? I wish I was one. Psst, don't say such things. Be quiet. Let's talk about something else. Have you heard the horse last night? When? About three. It must have been a horse that broke away from its herd. No, it had a rider. How do you know? I saw him. He stopped under your window. I was really shocked. It was the man I'm going to marry. He sometimes goes past. It wasn't him. Did you see him? Yes. Then who was it? It was Leonardo. Liar. Liar! Why should he come here? He came. Be quiet. A curse on your tongue. Look! Was it him? It was. It was him. Just the way it is. Just as well. We'll burn up. 
It's like an oven in here. Fire comes out of walls. Ow! Don't pull so hard. I wanted to get this way just right. I wanted to fall over your forehead. Embrace him. You're going to feel his weight on you. Shut up. And the best thing is, when you wake up and there he is, you feel him beside you and you feel him touching your shoulders, touching your shoulder with his breath, which is as gentle as a feather of a nightingale. Okay, I said shut up! But listen! What do you think a wedding is? That is all the wedding is, and nothing else. Do you think it's the canopies? Do you think it's the flowers? No, it's a bed that glows with a man and a woman inside it. You shouldn't say such things. It's something else, something so full of joy or bitterness. I'm going to put your girl on here, so it really shows off your head. Take it off. What are you doing? Just leave me alone. This is no time to get sad. Here, bring me the girl on. Don't do that. You make something happen, bad happen, throwing your girl on into the floor like this. Lift your head. Look at me. Don't you want to get married? Tell me, it's not too late to turn back. It's just worries, a cold wind in the heart. Doesn't everyone get them? You love the man you're going to marry. I love him. Yes, yes, I know you do. It's such a big step to take. You have to take it. A man committed to it. I'll fix your veil. Hurry up. The guests must be here soon. They still have another two hours to go. How far is it from the church? Five miles along the riverbed. The road takes twice as long. Go open the door. Those must be the first guests. You! Me! Good morning. The first to come. Have I been invited? Yes. That's why I'm here. Where is your wife? I came by horse. She took the road. Didn't you meet anyone? I rode past them. You're going to kill that horse with all the riding. Well, when it's dead, it's dead. Sit down. No one else is up yet. Where's the bride to be? I'm just about to get her dress. I'm about to be married. How happy she'll be. How's the boy? What boy? Your son. Him. Are they bringing him? No. She'll be wearing a big veil, I imagine. Although it shouldn't be that big. A smaller one would suit her better. And has the bridegroom brought that orange blossom that she should wear on her breast? He brought it. Don't come on dress like that. What difference does it make? Why do you ask whether he brought the orange blossom, huh? What do you mean? Nothing. What could I be meaning? You know me. There's nothing I'm implying. I just want to know something. So tell me, what did I mean to you? Open the chest of your memory and open it wide. Two oxen and a tiny house are worth almost nothing, but it's all I had. That's where it wounds me. Why did you come? To see you married. I saw you married too. I'm tied to you. You know that. You made the rope with your own hands. So they can kill me, those others, but they've no right to spit on me. All your silver gleams so bright it spits on people sometimes. Liar! I don't want to speak. I have my pride. I don't want these hills to hear my cries. My cries will be louder. This words must stop. You must not speak of the past. She's right. I shouldn't be even looking at you. But it burns my soul to have you coming on my wedding day and making insinuations about the orange blossom. 
Go and wait for your wife outside of the door. Can it really be that you and I cannot speak? No, no, you cannot speak. After I got married, I thought night and day about whose fault it was. And every time I think of one fault, another one just eats the one before it. But there's always someone. There's always someone to blame. A man on his horse knows a lot. He can do a lot to squeeze the love out of a girl who's lost in the desert. But I've got my pride and that's why I'm getting married. I will love myself with my husband, who I have to love more than everything. Your pride won't help you. Don't come near me! Do you know the worst thing? The worst thing we can do to ourselves is to keep silent. To keep silent and burn. What use was my pride to me in not looking at you and leaving you awake night after night? No use. All it did was fan the flames. You think that time will cure everything and that these walls will cover everything up, but it's not true. It's not true. When you get to the heart of things, you cannot make them disappear. I can't hear you. I can't bear to hear your voice. It's like if I drink an entire bottle of anise and I fall as if in a bit of roses. And it pulls me. I know I'm drowning, but I go back. No! You must go now! Don't be afraid. It's the last time. The last time I'll ever speak to her. I know I am mad and my breast is rotten. It's rotten with everything that I have to pull up with. And yet I still stand here. I still stand here and hear him. Hear him so quietly and watch him move his hands. There could be no peace to me unless I said these things. I got married. You get married now. And she is. She is getting married. Open your eyes! The, the, the guests have come now. Don't see her again! Don't worry. I won't. Quickly. Why the hurry? 
Because I want to be your wife and hear no other voice but yours. I want that too. And see only your eyes. Not even my mother could call me from beyond the grave. My arms are strong. Strong enough to hold you 50 years. Forever. Let the sun arise! As you leave your house... A virgin all in white! Remember you are leaving. Like a star in the sky. Leaving on your wedding day. Cleaning your clothes and your body. Leaving your house for the church. A rose in the desert. Sweet flowers are growing. For a beautiful girl in white. It's like a dark cloud. With a lace in her mantilla. Let's go. Where? To the church. But not on your horse. You're coming with me. In the cart? How else? I'm not a man to travel in a car. And I am not a woman to go without her husband to a wedding. I can't take any more. Me neither. Why are you looking at me like that? You have a thorn in each eye? Let's go. I don't know what's happening. But I think I know... And I don't want to think, but I've been rejected, and I have a son, and another one on the way. Same thing happened to my mother, but this is my place, and I am not giving way. Let's go. But with me. Yes! Go!
quiero verde verde viento verdes ramas el barco sobre la mar y el caballo en la montaña con la sombra en la cintura ella sueña en su baranda verde carne pelo verde con ojos de fría plata verde que te quiero verde Bajo la luna gitana, las cosas le están mirando y ella no puede mirarlas. Verde que te quiero verde, grandes estrellas de escarcha vienen con el pez de sombra que abre el camino de agua. La hierba frota su viento con la lija de sus ramas y el monte, gato gardoño, Evita sus pitas agrias. Pero, ¿quién vendrá? ¿Y por dónde? Ella sigue en su baranda, carne verde, pelo verde, soñando en la mar amarga. went excellently well. The whole branch is a family of colour. There were people there who don't even usually leave their houses. Your father sowed a lot of seeds and now you reap the harvest. And there were cousins that I'd never even met before. <laughs> Everyone from the coast. And they were scared of the horses. <laughs> cousins when it comes to dancing they are just like rocks. <laughs> it, it makes me happy to see them. What a change for this house. Did you see these orange blossoms? Yes. <laughs> They're made of wax. I would have liked you to have them all over you. There was no need. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take your hair down. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> You'll be happy. I'll be happy with my cousin. I'm sure I will be. Yeah, and you'll be here, making up your home, not going out. I wish I lived as far out as this. Well, you should buy land here. It's cheap, over on the mountain. The fresh air, it's good. It'll be good for you and the children. We have no money. And my things are going, he doesn't stick to anything. So. Aren't you going to take something? 
Your mother loves this little cake. I'm wrapping some up for her. Uh, give her uh, at least three dozen. Oh no, two dozen will be plenty. <laughs> Today's the day. Yeah. Oh, have you seen Leonardo? Never saw him. Well, he might be inside with the others. Yeah, I'll go and have a look. Oh, it's all so beautiful. <laughs> what a family you are. Real man. When I was a girl, I was at your grandfather's wedding. What a man. Tall as a mountain. Well, I'm, I'm not as tall as he was. <laughs> ah, but you have the same glint in your eyes. <laughs> Where's the bride? I think she's taking down her wedding veil. Now listen. When it comes to the middle of the night, seeing as how you won't be sleeping, I've put out some ham for you and some good glasses of wine. Just in case you need it. Well, you know I don't eat at night time. Now, if you want, maybe she will. Come and have a drink! No, I can't, I'm waiting for my wife. You'll have her in the morning. When you'll enjoy her oh, more. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Come on, just for a minute. Was it me? Was it her? I can't remember. You gave it to me here. You gave it to me here in the church? I don't know. We just want to know. And I don't, don't care. care! I've got so much to think about. I'm sorry. This is a difficult time. We just don't know what it's like. You'll know when the time comes. This is a step that costs so much. Are you unhappy? No! Forgive me. What for? I mean, these pins matter because they tell you when you're going to get married. And it matters when you're going to get married, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. It means one of us will get married before the other. Are you really so keen to get married? Yes. Why? Well... <laughs> get off me! But, sorry, did I, did I frighten you? I don't know, did you? Well, who else would it have been? Either me or your father? Only your father would have embraced you more gently. Obviously. Because... Because he'd hold. Leave me alone! Why? With all these people here, they, they could see us. So? Let them see. Yes, but leave me. Come back, Lisa. What's wrong? You, you seem startled. It's nothing. It's... I'm sorry to interrupt. What? Did my husband happen to pass by? No! Just, I can't find him anywhere. And the horse is in the stable, so... Well then maybe he's gone for a ride. What's wrong, love? It's a hammering in my head. Oh, you have to be strong to get married here in the mountains. She's all yours now. You're the only one who can make her better. Right, come on, let's go and have a dance. Then I'd like to lay down with you. You mustn't! Oh, everyone's still here. They'll be talking about it for weeks. Just let me rest a moment. I'll be better tonight. That's all that I want. Interesting. <laughs> it's hard work being a bride. Hard work? Nonsense. It's the only day of rest. For me, it was like coming into an inheritance. It's the, the sowing of new seeds. It's the plowing of the fields. Are you going to stay? No. My house is lonely. 
You don't want to be alone, surely. I'm never alone. My house is full of memories. As long as one lives, one is always at war. Ad advise me, Mother. I'll, I'll always obey you. Try to be gentle with your wife. But if she gets a bit surly or uppish, embrace her in a way that hurts her a little. Perhaps with a little bite and then a gentle caress. So she can't be angry at you, but so that she knows that you are the man. You are the master. You are the one in control. At least that's what I learned from your father. I'll always obey you. Where's my daughter? <coughs> <laughs> is, um, is she not in the dance? Happy couple, we're gonna do the wedding dance now. You have to lead it. <laughs> She's not here. She must have gone up to the balcony. I'll, I'll go and check. She's not there either. She's not? No. Where, where has she gone? We don't know. But. Isn't she the dance? No, she's not in the dance. Then, then where can she be? What's going on? Where's your daughter? They run. They run. They run. They run. They're on the horn. Holding each other as if they were carried by the wind. Not my daughter. It can't be true. Your daughter? The fruit of a bad mother. We'll go after them. Who has a horse? Who has a horse right now who has a horse? I'd give them everything I have, my eyes and even my tongue. There's one here. We're after them. It, it can't be her. But perhaps she has gone to the well. Women with honour go to the well. Women who are pure, not your daughter. Your family and mine shake the dust off this place. Go and help my son! They are looking everywhere. 
day of fight and so. They are getting closer. They'll find him when the moon rises. They, they should, should let, let him be. be. They were both deceiving the other. They were right to run away. Blood! You have, have to, to follow the path of blood. But when blood sees the light of day, the earth swallows it. Better to bleed to death than live with putrid. I hear the crickets. I hear the toads. There's, There's no, no sign of the horse. Just, Just now, now they'll be making love. <laughs> her body his, his body hers. They'll seek them out. They'll, they'll kill, kill them. them. But by then, they will have mingled their blood. They'll be like <coughs> 20 jars or two dried up streams. There are too many clouds. The bridegroom will find them. I saw him leave like an angry star. His face, the color of ash. Corpses lying in the street. Do you think they'll break out of the circle? They have rifles and knives. The moon is rising. The rising moon, moon of the large leaves. The lonely moon, moon of leaves of green. Silver on the face of the bright. The, the wicked, wicked moon, moon leave the, the branch, branch die for, for love. love. The sad moon, leave the love, the branch of the green. on the water like a swan, in the night sky like the implacable eye of God, and on the leaves I shine a full storm. So no, they'll not escape, they can't. Is there anyone trying to hide, anyone sobbing like a broken heart? The moon has left in the air a knife with a blade of lead, an ambush to make a reef in the blood. It's so cold outside windows and walls. Let me in, so I can warm me. Open the chest of the grave clothes, for only they can keep me warm. I am cold. I am the ash of burnt out fires, seeking a spark in the warm bodies, sleeping in the streets and fields. I am carried, carried on the shoulders of snowdrifts, the wind solely in the hard cold waters of ditches and ponds. And today, red blood will warm my frozen cheeks, so I don't want any shadow. I don't want any hiding place where they can evade or escape me. I want to creep into a gaping wound and warn me. Let me in! Oh, let me in! I don't want any shadows. I want my rays to penetrate the darkness so that among the shadows of the trees. Make sure they cannot escape. They will get no further! It has to be here! It has to be now! I am tired. They've opened up the funeral trucks and the alcove floor is awaiting for the heavy corpses with the gaping wounds. I don't want a single bird to cry. I want the wind to gather up their screens and run them past the black tree tropes. Bury them under the river's soft slime. They are coming. Some by the river, some by the ravine. I'm going to make the stones gleam. The air bites harshly with a double blade. I want light in their clothes. I want their buttons open, and I want the knives to know their way in. I want them to take a long time dying. <laughs> I want the blood running through my fingers to make a delicate sound. Silence. Let's not let them pass. Here they come. <sighs> Holy Moon, did you not hear me? I don't want them to escape. Yes, I will. I think they might have taken another path. No, I heard horses' hooves come this way just a moment ago. Most likely another horse. 
Listen, if you're going to follow me, then just follow. Don't speak. I just think that Mayor might be Do you see this arm? It's no longer mine. It's my father's and my brother's and every member of my family that's died. It's so strong that it could rip up this tree from the roots. So just, just follow. There, there was a noise that way. Follow the path round. We're on a hunt. The greatest hunt that ever was. Hey! <coughs> what do you want? I'm cold. Did you see a man and a woman run this way with a horse? Young man, but even lovelier with his leaves. Broad shoulders. Oh, must... I asked you a question. They must be crushing your delicate feet. Wouldn't you be better resting them on the ground? Why wouldn't you answer me? No, I've not seen them. They're coming down the hill. Can you see them? No. Do you not know the way? I'll go any way that I can. I'll come with you. This way. Uh, this place. I know it well. Okay, this way. Over here. Don't, Don't call her to the wedding with funeral flowers. Oh, sad death. Leave the branch of green for love. Oh, sad death, leave for love the branch of green. Quiet! I want you to go back. Go! From now on, I'll go alone. I said, be quiet. Oh, I used to have some respect. No, there's a neck. A chain around my neck. Take it off if you can. With your hands, if you can. With your teeth, if you must. And then leave me. Give me the knife placed in my hand. In the hands of this person who was once a bride. Oh, it's a fire. Burning in my head, the ocean drowning in my heart. We took the first step. No, be quiet. They are close behind us, and I will take you away with me. And you'll have to do it by force. By force. <clears throat> Who was the first to come down the stairs? I was. Uh, and who put a new saddle upon the horse? I did. Whose hands buckled on my spurs? Yes, my hands. Which are your hands now? Hands which, when, when they see you, would willingly break the blue branches at the power of your face. I, I love you. I love you. Go! There's a fire burning in my head. There's an auction drowning in my heart. I wanted to forget! I divided my house from yours with a wall of stone. When I saw you from far off, I threw sand into my own eyes. Silver needles invaded my bloodstream. Whenever I rode my horse, my horse led me to your door. But whenever I slept, I dreamed. Dreams that filled my flesh with poison weeds. Of the scent exuded by your breasts. I was exhaled by your hair. Oh, this is such madness! Oh, when you, when say, you say go, I go! When you say come, I come! I'm like a plane of grass thrown about with the wind, and you are the wind that blows me! At my own wedding, you made me abandon him! At my own wedding! breaking and night is dying let's go to a dark corner i'll always be able to love you i'll sleep at your feet and i'll be the dog that lies at your feet and watches everything you're dreaming i'll be there naked i'll be looking out over the fields because when i look at you the beauty's a flame. One flame burns another. 
but that same small spark can burn up two blades of grass and stand together. Where, where are you taking me? Somewhere where those men who are pursuing us will never, ever find us. So you can take me from fair to fair and display me as a warning to respectable women. If I thought the way that everyone thinks, I would want to leave you too. I go where you go. The moon nails your thighs to my waist. Do you hear me? Do you hear? There's people coming. You run. It's only right that I should die here with a crown of thorns in my head and my feet in the river. Gosh, they're coming. Go! No. You first, you go. Both together. As you wish. But if they separate us, it'll be because they've killed me. <laughs> because I'm dead. without fear of the rifle or the knife. And when the rain lashes against the windows, other mothers will run to them to see the faces of their children. The neighbours will be here soon. I don't want them to see me so poor. So poor. A woman without even a son to bring to her lips. Are you 
keep going. Who is that? Don't you recognise her? sheet of shining silk, and may gentle rain warm your quiet hands. Four young men are coming, and their shoulders are weary. Aye, four handsome, handsome young men carry death, death through the air. It's the neighbours. They're bringing them now. Cross. The cross. Sweet now, sweet cross, sweet neck of Jesus. May the cross, cross protect the living and the dead. Shoot a knife. Just a little knife. On a single day between two and three. Two men killed each other out of love. With a knife. Just a little knife. <coughs> that barely covers the palm of a hand. Which subtly penetrates through the startled flesh. And stops in the place. Where there trembles and tangles. The dark root of a scream. And this is a knife. Just a little knife. That hardly covers the palm of a hand. Fish <laughs> without scales or river. But one on particular day, between two and three. With this knife, two hard men ended up with yellow lips, which hardly fits in the palm of a hand, but which coldly penetrates the astonished, astonished flesh. flesh. And there it stops in the place, and, and there, there trembles all tangled.
The dark roots of a scream 